Hey, welcome to a special video on Lee Writing Services. Uh, what you're seeing here is Final Draft 10. Uh, if you watch some of my earlier videos where I teach you how to write scripts, uh, you'll see I was using Final Draft 8. Uh, I recently uh, got Final Draft 10 and it's a lot better. Uh, I'm not going to get too much into how to write scripts with Final Draft 10. Uh, what I want to show you is something that... Um, the one little flaw that I noticed in the software, I like the software. It, I like the fact that it has these buttons here, kind of like uh, Microsoft Office, where you have the toolbar up here, and then you click on these, and then you have all these uh, buttons, just like uh, Microsoft Office or something, or like Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint. Um, you know, I, very easy navigation. I like all that. It's all good. However, there's one little thing I don't like. <clears throat> now they give you a button to create a new template so instead of just a blank document uh, if you want to like start your script with a template to help you get going to help you with the formatting in case you're new to uh, script writing any kind of script writing tv scripts or movie scripts they, they give you a whole selection of uh, uh, templates you know they give you i downloaded some too i mean they give you all kinds BBC, uh, graphic novels, uh, you know, and some based off of TV shows, I guess, just to give you an idea of how scripts are, are written. You know, you can just base your script off the formatting that you see in these templates. It's pretty cool. I, I like that. That's good. However, <laughs> for people who are a little more experienced at uh, screenwriting, you, you don't want to use a template. You just want to start a blank document problem is they don't make that so simple because all right let's say this is a template you're seeing here all right I'm gonna close this template now naturally you would think if I click the new button it'll create a new document but see what it says create a new document from the current template so you click new and then it brings that same template back now, logic would dictate that this should be the button for creating new documents with templates, not this button. This button should create a blank document, you would think, but it doesn't. It just creates a new document from the current template, meaning the last template that you used. And that, that creates a problem when you want to you know, start a new document, like a totally blank document with no template at all. So the question is, how do you fix this? So when you click on this button, it gives you a blank document. What do you do? Well, basically, you have to choose a template that is blank <laughs> and then close it. And then every time you click that, it'll open a blank document. Uh, but if you use a template again, you know, in the future, then you'll have to do that all over again. Choose a blank document just to make this button open on a blank document. <laughs> so now you might wonder, well, why don't I just delete everything in the in the template and start writing my script? Well, you could do that. But one thing I noticed is some of these templates, they, they have different settings and not all of them have the settings activated for like movie scripts, you know, the formatting for that, where it automatically does the, the, um, the scene header and stuff like that it, you know when you hit tab and it, it does it automatically for you it goes to the action line and everything some of some of this uh templates i noticed don't have that formatting in there you have to manually turn on those options and it's it's a hassle you know if you want a new movie script blank document like that has the formatting for movie scripts television scripts uh, you know that's what we should all want and i wish that button would do that but it doesn't uh, so what do you do okay you close this new from template uh, now the blank template is in standard scripts and it's uh, just this one screenplay that's the blank document <laughs> so you do this and look it opens up a blank you it's hard to find because they don't label it like blank screenplay document they just label it screenplay uh i i don't know why yeah okay, that's the only thing i don't like about this software everything else i love beautiful upgrade from a really i love i love the buttons and all that can't say enough about that it's so much 
easier to learn this than it is Final Draft 8. I just wish they would fix that one thing with the new document button. I don't like that it opens the current template. Um, now, I, I emailed um, the customer support for Final Draft about this, and first they said that, you know, this is what you have to do, you know, a new blank document, and then it opens up blank documents when you keep clicking new, you know, what I just did. Uh, but then they emailed me again saying, oh, uh, I called technical support, and they said there there's a way to uh, turn that option on where the new button creates playing documents all the time. Uh, and they were supposed to get back to me to, to teach me how to do that, but they never did. Uh, so I don't know if there's an option in here to make this always uh, create blank documents. I don't think there is. I've looked everywhere. Um, I don't see anything for that. I searched on Google. I couldn't find anything. Um, options. Uh, uh, no, scene, document, enable, spelling, format, scene numbers, header, footer, uh, I don't see anything, on launch show last, wait, on launch show last document open, oh, that's when you launch it, it's not, create a new I don't know but you get the idea so just a recap new from template uh, it's under standard scripts and then click on this it opens up a blank and then if, if you don't open any more templates up clicking new will keep opening up a blank document so just in case you want to know that if you own Final Draft 10 uh, if you don't own it you should get it they're having a discount uh, this is around Christmas time so they're currently having a discount. Uh, if you're watching this video after Christmas, obviously there's not going to be a discount. But it's it's still worth getting the software. Um, Alright, that's just my little video on um, opening or creating blank documents in Final Draft 10. Alright, subscribe and I'll keep doing more pronunciation videos as I know you all love them. Alright, bye.